Hi everyone, it's Vanessa Scotto from Math to Self. And today I am just compelled to talk about shame. It's one of those things that's on my mind a lot because my wish for myself, my wish for my clients, and my wish for all of you is the freedom to have the full expression of who you are. Freedom of movement, the freedom to laugh, the freedom to dance, the freedom to vocalize your opinions and what matters to you, the freedom essentially to be yourself. And one of the main things that keeps us from unfolding into the magnificent people that we are meant to be, to the free-loving, excitable, juicy, energetic people that we are meant to be, is shame. Now, when we're kids, that's one thing. We live in a house, we have parents, there are certain demands upon us, but as we become adults, it is the fear of embarrassment, it is the sense of shame, in other words, that something about us is wrong or should be hidden, that keeps us from living fully. Now, shame is contained in your body, the way that you might keep yourself tight, the way you may not swing your arms when you move, the way you may not just get up and dance because you feel like it, or make loud noises when you're jubilant. Shame contracts the body, it's held in tension, and it also comes in your head, in voices. Don't do this or you may look stupid. Don't reveal yourself. Don't love someone too much or they may hurt you and you don't want to be played. You don't want to look like a fool. These are the things that keep us small. You may think that they're keeping you safe. And in one regard, that's true. Only it can't keep us safe from getting our hearts broken. It can't keep us safe from feeling stupid. It can't keep us safe from being judged. These things happen regardless. We can minimize them, yeah, maybe, but at what expense? Because what we're minimizing is our ability to be alive, to experience pleasure, to experience full-bodied, downright exuberant happiness. So how do you begin to look at that? First of all, shame breathes in the darkness. So one of the antidotes to shame is bringing what you're afraid of out into the light of day. Now, that could be through journaling and admitting it to yourself. It could be through seeing a life coach or a therapist. It could be through speaking to friends or family. Just choose wisely. Don't admit what you're scared to admit to someone who is incapable of ever hearing these things. You may start by dancing a little more. You may start by some of my other videos I talked about singing on the subway. You may start by writing poetry. Anything that gets you to start expressing your voice, your opinions, moving your body, and showing up a little more fully in your life. Now, another way is through vocalizing. I'm ashamed, I'm so sorry, I'm so embarrassed I, I didn't show up the way I wanted to. I'm so embarrassed I didn't get the correct change or that I didn't do the math right. Just these quick little vocalizations start to calm down the area in your brain that is feeling shame. It's an amazing gift. We see it across the board. Every time you vocalize an emotional experience you're having, it calms down the experience's charge in your body and your brain. So you can start to just say it lightly. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Excuse me. Um, or, you know, I'm ashamed to say that this is something I struggle with these words start to relieve it. All in all, just begin to plant the seed that you are amazing the way that you are, that you don't need to be ashamed of the person that you are, of the challenges that you've had, of your past experience, and then start to open up and take little risks of exposing yourself to the right people in the right time in the right place. There's going to be a lot more of this because I just want freedom for you so badly from this unnecessary suffering. Please, if you like this, hit like, leave me comments. You know, what have you been hiding? Please let me know. And if you have any special requests, as always, I'm always willing to take them. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a shame-free, beautiful, liberated day. Bye. See you next time.